What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I'm going to be bringing you one of the best unlimited money glitches in GTA 5 Online after the 1.15 patch update. This glitch allows you guys to duplicate supercars and sell them over and over again for full price and also bypass the 45 minute wait period. Now I recently uploaded a money glitch showing you how you guys can do that, and in that method you had to have a hooker, which means the glitch could only be done during the night time, however in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you guys can do that exact same glitch during the day, so hopefully you guys are going to be able to use this money glitch to your advantage in order to make millions in GTA 5 online in an extremely short amount of time. But other than that, for those of you who do go on to enjoy today's video, all I ask is that you'd slap that like button and subscribe to my channel for some of the best daily dope fresh GTA 5 content, including tips, tricks, glitches, news, and more. With that said, let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do is be inside of your garage in an invite only session. From here, get inside of a vehicle that you're going to be selling and duplicating. In this case, I'm going to be using the Adder, however, you guys are more welcome to use any other vehicle that you would like. From here, simply drive it outside of your garage. Now for this portion, you will need a friend in order to help you out. That is the only downside, however, in the end, it definitely pays off. What you're going to want to have your friend do is sit in your passenger seat. Once your friend is sitting in the passenger seat, you're going to want to pull up your phone and you're going to want to dial Lamar in order to request a mugger. Now you guys will see in just a second that I'm going to call Lamar and request that mugger and the mugger will eventually come. Now when the mugger does come, two of things will happen. The mugger is going to pull your friend out of the car, sit in the seat, then get out of the car and chase your friend. What you're going to want to have your friend do from here is actually run away from the mugger. That's one scenario that could happen. However, you guys will see that when the mugger does come and pull my friend out of the car, he's actually going to sit in the car seat for an entire time and not get out of it again. Again guys, here it is, he's gonna pull my friend out of the car, sit in the seat, and my friend's gonna run away. Now this may happen that the mugger would actually get out of the car and chase him again. If that's the case, your friend's gonna wanna run away from the mugger, get back in the car, and then the mugger's gonna pull him out of the car for a second time. From here what you're actually gonna wanna go ahead and do is get out of the vehicle and kill the mugger. So this is extremely similar to the hooker glitch where you have to kill the hooker. However, by doing this you guys can do this glitch during the daytime. So as you guys can see, as soon as you finally end up killing the mugger sitting in the passenger seat of your vehicle, you're going to want to get back inside of the car and drive it right back inside of your garage. So once you spawn inside of the garage, you guys can see that the mugger is still in the passenger seat of your vehicle. What you're going to want to go ahead and do from here is go over to the garage management tab and select the vehicle that the mugger is currently sitting in and replace it with an LRG. What I recommend doing is stocking your garage full of LRGs. And as you guys can see, once you replace the adder with an LRG, the adder is actually going to duplicate and I now have two fully upgraded adders inside of my garage. From here, if you'd like to duplicate the car again, simply get in the vehicle that has the mugger inside of it, drive it outside of your garage. If you'd like to duplicate the vehicle again, all you simply need to go ahead and do is turn right back around and complete the step again by selecting the garage management tab and replacing it with another LG and as you guys can see the car is going to duplicate again and I now have three fully upgraded adders inside of my garage. So from here what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is get inside one of the duplicated adders and take it over to Los Santos Customs in order to sell it. I recommend selling one of the duplicated ones and leaving the original adder inside of your garage for the entire duration of this glitch because you're not actually going to want to sell the original adder that had the mugger inside of it because that's going to have to cause you guys to buy another adder if you guys would like to do this glitch again. So just go ahead and sell all of the duplicated versions of your adder and as you guys can see once it's out of Los Santos Customs I can now sell my fully upgraded adder for nearly $800,000. After you sell the vehicle you guys are more welcome to pull up your phone and call your mechanic in order to request another adder. However, what I recommend doing is simply walking or driving in another car back over to your garage because you don't accidentally want to request the original adder. So like I said, just go ahead and walk back over to your garage, get in another vehicle, and as you guys can see, if you take that next vehicle over to Los Santos Customs, you guys can now sell the vehicle for $800,000. So this does bypass the 45 minute wait period, so hopefully you guys are going to be able to use this extremely easy unlimited money glitch to your advantage in order to get millions in GTA 5 online after the 1.15 patch update. Other than that guys, that's all that you have for you in today's video. I hope you did enjoy it, and until next time guys, this has been Swifters. I'm out. Peace.